Okay. Can I go? Okay. Hey guys, um, today I'm going to share with you some research that I have done in terms of what is one of the most effective teaching practices um, in my personal opinion and of others whom, whose articles I've read and done some research on. And what I people would agree that using simulations in the classroom or replicating real world situations is an excellent way to teach subjects and an also, also a great way to uh, help the students remember what they've learned and to remember it longer than just you know the end of the course for the test and that it becomes applicable to their their own lives and in any other real world situations they come across um, simulations are usually done in groups that's kind of their origins they generally the students are put into teams and it's facilitated by the instructor and the students are given a goal that they have to accomplish. And this is done using the knowledge that they learned in their own, uh, through, throughout the class, through uh, instruction that the, the teacher has given them. Uh, the two big things I think that this does for students that really make it a good method is that it gives them teamwork and team building experiences. Uh, generally, most simulations have that as a part of just their design. And another thing that I think it does is, like I've already said, it increases the quality of the education that they receive. Makes it longer lasting, more applicable, and more interesting. Um, so in terms of teamwork, one of the articles I read was by uh, a woman named Fanima Latif, who says, and I'm sort of paraphrasing, but she says, many believe that simulation-based learning enhances efficiency of the learning process in a controlled and safe environment and also that it affords the essentials for creating a team with group identity and trust. So it really helps to build that team building experience. I want to ask you guys if you the class of that sort of situation, if any of your teachers have used that before. No one's ever had that as part of their classroom uh, in high school or middle school at all? Yeah. Um, I had it in a uh, college anthropology course yeah. where they would uh, have us, he was just talking about like resources mm -hmm. and showing with like mates how there'd be six or there'd be four, uh, uh, let's say berries, mm -hmm. and you know, it was selected mating, you'd go whoever had the most berries, so that was the kind of thing. Okay. We were outside and we showed that example. Cool, that's definitely something that we, uh, I also had in one of my one of my courses of biology. I know one of my personal experiences in teamwork was I had a forensic science course where we were put into teams and we, and we did that through knowledge that we had learned before. We had to figure out who the culprit was and everything. Um, so yeah, that's definitely cool. Uh, uh, my second point, like I've already said, is the quality of education. And I feel like that kind of relates into the back half of, you know, the after effects that it makes students much more interested in the topic, wanting to talk about it afterwards, maybe sharing that experience with friends or their family. And I think that makes it, you know, just more applicable and, and means more. Um, another article I read by Jane Chilcott, uh, she says that simulations uh, are like the real world and that students continue to learn after the class is done and they are more prone to share and evaluate each other's ideas. Um, so I really think this all comes down to making learning much more effective for a class, much more effective for the students personally, and you know, therefore they will have better educations, more meaningful educations when they finally graduate. Um, you know, all the things that come from that test scores being better, they're being more prepared for college and for future education. So I guess my, my main point in sharing this with you was, and the focus of my white paper, was that Simulation, using simulations as a teaching technique is a very effective way, and one of the most effective ways of conveying topics, conveying knowledge, and helping your students to learn in the classroom. And I think it's something that all teachers and all educators of many levels, at least middle school and high school on up, should use. Because it, is, it has been proven statistically to be a very effective way to get your students to learn.